backlinks are important to SEO. When another site links to your site, a backlink is created. If for example, a brand finds one of your blog posts that's helpful to their customers, they might link to it. That backlink is word of confidence in your content. They are important to SEO and a big ranking factor because Google sees all of those words of confidence as evidence that your content is valuable. If lots of sites link back to yours, search engines are more likely to surface your content in search results. Improving your ranking for the topics linked to. Earning backlink is an essential part of off-site SEO and obtaining more backlinks is called link building. But like so many aspects of SEO, link building is not straightforward. Now there are three primary reasons why one website links to another. It has high domain authority. It posts high quality content. It doesn't follow any black hat SEO techniques. If your website checks all these, people will link to it blindly unless you are a competition. But what about a website that launched yesterday? It wouldn't have much content, let alone a high authority that grows over time. So how would you get backlinks for website then? In today's video, I'll talk about the best ways to get your first 100 authority links. Use help a reporter out, Harrow. And when we speak of high quality backlinks, then getting links from news websites and journalistic blogs is like winning the jackpot. That's because these websites have a high domain authority and getting featured there will also boost your site's trust level. The best way to get a backlink from news outlets is through Help a Reporter Out. It's a platform that provides journalists and bloggers with sources for news and stories. To use Harrow, sign up as a source from its homepage and then select a pricing plan. You can use the free base basic plan to get started. Once you have signed up, you'll start receiving emails from Harrow containing requests from different news and media websites, either for a quote, advice, tips, stories and more. Respond to the queries that are relevant to your business and if your answer gets picked up, you'll end up receiving a backlink from the news website. Second strategy is finding broken links to build backlinks. While you're looking at your competitor, you can also look at their broken links. The broken link building strategy is another quick and easy way of capturing backlinks. Broken links are the links that no longer exist or work on a website. And they may be caused by the source website removing those links, also known as 404 error, or having an improper URL, or the destination website might have closed or moved to another domain. Whatever the reason, this presents an amazing opportunity for you to get a backlink. All you have to do is find broken links, then contact the website to replace the link and pitch your site as a replacement. It's that simple. To find broken link, you first need to identify your search competitors. You can either use RankWatch's domain analysis tool to find all competitors which have common ranking keywords as your domain or find true competitors specific to your business category using competitor analysis RankWatch offers. Then use RankWatch backlink analyzer to uncover broken links. Under the backlinks list, all the links with deleted tag are the links that no longer work. Once you have a list of broken links, the next step is to contact the webmaster of these websites and report about the broken link. When drafting your pitch, be humble and introduce yourself. Add the exact location of the broken link since you want to help them out. Then mention different alternatives for the broken link, including your website. Chances are that the webmaster will use your website as a replacement and you'll get a backlink in return. The third strategy is doing guest appearances or taking part in interviews on podcasts. You can get a free backlink from the podcast notes if you can appear as a guest on any of the podcasts. As for finding podcasts, you can do the same as interviews and run a quick search for relevant podcasts on platforms like Spotify, iTunes, Google Play and more. Then send out an email telling them you're interested in appearing as a guest on the podcast and make sure to include your experience, how you're fit for the podcast and how you can add value. Once you start appearing on multiple podcasts, you'll also build a following. You can then leverage your newly created audience if you decide to create a podcast for your own website. We interview marketing agencies and SEO industry experts and the interview gets published on all our social channels and blog linking back to the agency or brand website we interviewed. 
write guest posts for the businesses that you share an audience with contributing guest posts basically mean writing a blog article from your business that will feature on another website's blog it's a common practice used when two businesses share a similar audience but are not direct competitors at the bottom of guest posts will be an author bio where you can include information about your business and include link pointing back to your website or even in between content body with the anchor of your choice while guest posts Posting is a common practice. It does take time and effort to secure guest posting opportunity and produce good quality content. Here are the steps to follow. Firstly, find a relevant website that accepts guest post using search operators such as in-text colon in brackets write for us plus in bracket topic or in URL colon in bracket write for us plus in bracket your topic. Look at the result that come up. Assess them for quality by checking the website CFTF using RankWatch. An ideal ratio between trust flow and citation flow should be more than 0.5 or 1 is to 2 or higher. Shortlist the website that fit with your audience and are in direct competitors. Then reach out to the site owner to ask if you could write a guest post for their blog. Pitching two to three possible ideas you could write about that work for your and their audience. Once they have agreed, write the content and send it to them to be uploaded on their website. Do make sure a link to your website is published. The final strategy is to scour top contributors to massive publications. Another great way to building backlinks to your website, particularly from massive publications, is to go looking for people who regularly write for the websites you would like to be mentioned on. WebSignals, a web monitoring tool, can help you find the top influencers in your industry along with the topics they write about. By accessing the ranking dashboard of WebSignals, you can find all the influencers who have mentioned your keyword. Also on RankWatch, if you add your competitors as a project, then on the link center, you'll get details of the writers and the articles they wrote covering your competitors. You can approach and build relationships with them to build links in the future. When you have product launches or feature updates, you can contact them to write about you and link to your site. Also, if you have sizable readership on your website, you may take their interview and ask them to link to it. Either way, it's a win-win situation. Building 100 quality backlinks to your website over the next month is far from impossible. In fact, if you really put your mind to it, you could generate even more than that by using the methods we just just talked about. The reality is that building backlinks, like everything else worth doing, takes some hard work, some time and the correct implementation of effective strategies. Do these things and you'll be off to 100 or more backlinks within the next 30 days. Thanks for watching.